Sam! Huh. Sam, did you eat them all again? It wasn't me. Oh, really? Who then? It was, um... Uh, <laughs> mm, Mr. Pringles! <laughs> yep, yep, you see, he made them and then he ate them. Huh, shall we ask him then? Oh, well, um, he already left. He's got a lot to do. Oh, no problem. We'll bring him back in an hour and clear this up. <sighs> Hi, guys. Today we're going to make something really unusual. We'll make a man out of a Pringles can. I bet it'll take a long time. We need to make a body and a costume and eat all the potato chips. Oh, you already <sighs> ate them. Anyway, it's gonna be quick and easy. You only need creativity. Oh, we've got plenty of that. Let's get started. <laughs> I've already started. Oh. I'm cutting the bottom part of the can off. Guys, don't forget to be very careful working with sharp tools. Let's continue cutting our can in pieces. This way. Be careful with the scissors, too. Huh. Are you trying to reach that face, Susie? Not exactly. We need all the other parts of the can, too. Uh, are you implying that the costume will be made of this can as well? Well, we can't make Mr. Pringles out of anything else. We'll start with his pants. We need to cut four pieces like this out of the can. Express cutting! Express cutting! You've used the services of the best express cutting. Great job, Sammy. Guys, don't forget to take the upper layer of the can off. Sammy, what are you reading there? Searching for Pringles recipes? No, it turns out that the company couldn't come up with a name for a long time until one of the employees looked into a phone book. He saw a street there, Pringle Drive. The company liked this name. Unbelievable! And who's the man on the can? It's a cook! Julius Pringle! Oh, okay, so that's what we're gonna call our man today. Julius. I'm gonna go look into a phone book, too. What if I invent something genius? Mm, let's not upset Sammy and tell him no one uses phone books anymore. So, guys, let's glue another piece of adhesive tape. So, I couldn't find a phone book. Genius ideas ain't gonna happen. Sammy, a phone book is not the only source of inspiration. Actually, yes. I can also rewatch some videos on our channel that's your inspiration, guys. Okay, I made this base piece. Let's turn it into a real pant leg. Yeah, no, I wouldn't mind having a bright green costume, too. Wow, I wonder why you would need one. It would highlight my individuality. Plus, I think it's hiding a superpower. <laughs> what superpower? Time acceleration! Hey! How do you like it, Elon Sue? Um, not bad. That means you can do it even without a costume. You should only believe in yourself. Is one pant leg ready? Almost. Ah! We only need to give it shape. Let's make a knee bending so that our man's legs look natural. This way. Now let's give some volume at the hem of the pants. This way Mr. Pringles won't look flat. I made little cuts in the adhesive tape strip. Stick it this way. Wrap it with the tape. By the way, where's Sammy? Huh. Anyway, let's give volume to the pant leg. Done. Phew! Am I on time? I just finished making this. Sammy, I'm glad you didn't waste your time, but what is that? Oopsie. Mistake. I confused the prop. Uh, here's what I made. And the wrapper was needed for inspiration. <laughs> Good job, Sammy. Guys, it's very important to shape the pants. 
Our gentleman's being realistic depends on that. I'll repeat the same actions we made with the first leg. This way our Mr. Pringles will look more… lively. <laughs> I hope adhesive tape won't make these pants look latex. Oh, don't worry about that. I promise it'll look perfect. So guys, let's move on to making the upper part of our man. We could use some magic, what do you say? Uh, not bad, Sue, but even the thinnest person in the world can't fit this jacket. <laughs> You're right, Sam. That's why we should give it volume, just like we did with the pants. By the way, I didn't think that Pringles could become a good motivation for me. According to the half-eaten chips, I think I know what exactly it motivates you to do. No, Sue, not that. At first, chips weren't in demand. And many experts suggested to remove them from sale, but the company didn't give up. Years later, it restarted and succeeded. <sighs> that means it's important to never give up and keep moving towards your aim. Wow, feels like our Mr. Pringles can be a great business coach. His jacket is already ready. Well, uh, not exactly ready. <laughs> Sammy, is this the collar? Yes, that's right. We'll glue two pieces in front. This way. And two other in the back. Oh, I got it! I'll finish! And I'll make something that's gonna be under the jacket. Voila! While Sam's away, I'll use more magic. Check this out. Huh. I see that everything is stylish under the jacket as well. <laughs> Here. Take it. Oh. Is it ready? Yep. Let's combine everything. First, we glue the shirt under the jacket this way. Uh… I think the shirt's too short. Yeah, but we're making only the part that will be seen. Great. Also… We cut out these little pieces. Any idea what for? On closer examination, I can assume these are hands. <laughs> You're right. These are our hands. Let's glue everything together. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> who ate all my potato chips? <laughs> oh, whoever it was, I'll buy you a new pack! I promise! <laughs> Don't be afraid, these are just the hands of our Mr. Pringles! Huh. This style reminds me of the characters from Coco, the movie! Oh yeah, it's very similar! Now let's move on to the shoes! Oh, his shoes are gonna be bright! Yes, Sammy, we're making a bright man! With this unique and extravagant look. Glue it here. Be careful. These pieces are so tiny. You know, Sue, almost everyone wants to dress bright and unique. But most people are shy to do it and follow the rules imposed by others. Why can't I walk around wearing a green costume with bright green shoes, for example? Oh, I can imagine you dressed like that. Extravagant. Anyway, you're saying the right stuff. One shouldn't be afraid of being judged by others. You see, the main thing is to not judge others. Especially when it comes to how they look. Shall we add another adjective to the name of our channel? Why? <laughs> you're daydreaming, Sammy. Better carefully cut out the face of our mister. Sure. I'll be careful working with the cutter. So I thought Mr. Pringles needed a neck to wear a tie, you know. Great job, Sammy. So we have the face, but only one shoe? <laughs> Just a moment. Up. Check out these unique, elegant shoes we made. So they're awesome! We should make them in mass production. And who wears shoes without socks? Actually, it's rather trendy nowadays. One shoe is ready. That's possible, Sammy, but you know, usually gentlemen wear shoes with high socks. Classic is always in fashion. Should we just put everything together now? Yes, Sammy. Thanks to the fact that we put paper socks in our shoes, they perfectly fit our pants. 
there. See? Now let's connect the upper and the lower parts of the body. Perfect. And attach the head to it. This way. Here, our Mr. Pringles is almost ready. Hmm. So, uh, I didn't find a stand for him. I looked everywhere. I found it on you, Sammy. Oh. Oopsie. We only need to glue it to the man. We're almost ready. Well, Sammy, now we're gonna find out who ate my potato chips. Wait, let's first admire our work. <laughs> All right, it's worth it. Beautiful. I think it's one of our best creations. And does it even matter who ate some chips some time ago? <laughs> Just check out the job we've done. <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy. Of course, Mr. Pringles is beyond that. Hmm. The valiant traveler was climbing the mountain. Despite the strong wind, which almost blew him away from the cliff, Sam was moving on. Why? What's wrong? Shoo, where's the wind? I'm tired of blowing, Sam. Maybe it's enough for today. No way! Yesterday we were playing your games all day long. Today we're playing mine. Come on! Blow! Despite the strong wind, which almost blew the traveler away. Hell, oh, for crying out loud. I'm thirsty. My throat is dry because of your wind. Oh, maybe we can make a fan? Huh, a fan. Well, that's a good idea. What are we gonna make it out of? These cans. I've saved lots of them. <laughs> then let's get started. Hi, guys. Do you know what we're gonna do today? We are gonna make a fan from drink cans. Hi, everyone. Let's start with removing the upper part of the can. Should we rub it? Hmm, a day or two? Even three if we make lunch breaks. What? We don't have that much time, so that's too long! <laughs> Sam, I'm just kidding. It's ready. See how it rubbed off? We just need to push it. Phew. Don't joke around. Oh, come on. When you start joking around with me, you're just unstoppable. Now we can cut the can in half. You have to be very careful while working with the cutter. The can's edges are sharp too, so you better ask an adult to help you with this craft. Sam's right. Let's cut it with scissors. And even it out a little. Approximately one-third of the can should remain. <laughs> this way we'll use all the cans. Sammy! But it will look beautiful. I know, I know. So, what you doing? No, oh, this? This will be the hole for the motor. Cool. So are we done? Then I'll go fix my climbing equipment! Ah! Uh, Sam, I'm just showing the motor we'll need and the way it has to be inserted. Uh, judging by the noise, Sam is very enthusiastic about this mountaineering thing. I'm ready. Wait, it isn't ready yet? Why are you going so? <laughs> Sammy, come on! We've just started making the fan. We couldn't finish it so fast. Uh, then why didn't you stop me? You didn't even listen to me and ran away for the equipment. Because I want to be the first to climb this mountain. What is it made of? Clothes and a blanket. My clothes, by the way. I don't have lots of clothes, you know. And they are small. And look how many you have. Yeah, I've got a lot. You're right. Anyway, now we need to connect two parts in one. Yep, to make it work, you have to cut the can so it gets smaller in the diameter. Right you are. But we're short on time since you're in a rush. That's why... <laughs> one part of the fan is ready. Awesome! What is this thing anyway? This will be the upper part of the fan. We'll put the motor here. By the way, something interesting is coming. We're going to make the blades. Oh, interesting. 
But it's just a piece of cardboard. Right, but soon it will turn into real blades. Oh, this sounds intriguing. I guess you're applying too much glue. Then where are you gonna put it? <laughs> we won't glue it anywhere for now. We need the glue to make the blades become solid and hold its shape. Now we must wait until the glue sets. But I'm going to blow hard on it since I've got so much training from you. See? My games even help us with crafts. Yeah, sure. Tell this to my cheeks. Ugh. <sighs> now let's glue the fastening and attach it to the motor. And our fan will be ready. Not yet. Sammy, be so kind and cut four thin strips out of the can. No problem. Done! Awesome! And I found a circle like this. Let's glue the strips on it crisscross. All right. Do not rush. You should get a snowflake like this. Is that because this fan will blow so hard that it'll turn you into a snowflake in a matter of seconds? <laughs> exactly! This fan is for a real rock climber who's not afraid of hardships and cold. Yeah, that's about me. Then don't forget to dress up warmer when you climb this mountain once again. Now, carefully put the grid on the can. Press it with the ring. And glue! Be careful not to make a mess. It looks quite nice. I'm doing my best for you. Let's cut off the extra parts. Be careful with the scissors. So cool! I hope that the rest will be just as awesome. Do you still doubt it? Of course it's gonna be super cool. To make the base, we need pieces like these. Hmm. Are they gonna be made of paper? Wrong guess. They're just templates. Actually, we'll make the base out of a soda can. Then. I attach the template on a can piece, and now… We'll cut it out, right? <laughs> sure. But first, we transfer the pattern right onto the can so it's easier to cut out. Isn't it just easier to cut it? We can make a mistake, or the pattern can fall off. Then the result will be crooked and ugly. Oh, that's a strong argument. Then I'll try to cut other parts while you mess around with this one. And not even out of breath. Wow, you did great! You cut them so nicely! Awesome job! Oh well, yeah, that's me. Well, shall we start assembling the base? Don't rush! We need to bend the edges so the pieces tightly adjoin each other. Uh, so long! Alright, I get it. I'll do the same with the rest. I'm off! Da -da 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 -da. Sue, what is it? We're making a fan, not a firewood storage. <laughs> Sammy, you're funny. These are the stiffening ribs. They'll prevent bending of the pieces. Oh, should I do it the same way? Uh, check where they're needed and glue accordingly. Okay. What, have you finished already? It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, a bend here, glue there, and that's it. Sammy, you keep surprising me. That's nothing. Soon the whole world will admire the great traveler who'll conquer that mountain. <laughs> sure they will. You kind of infected me with your enthusiasm. I think I'm gonna follow you to the top. <laughs> what do you say? Where can we find a mountain that you can climb? You're quite big. Sam? Oops, I just meant that the pile of clothes there is small and you're just normal. <laughs> anyway, what do we need to do next? We're going to work with this part. And it is? The fan's leg. We need to refine it. I guess we'll need them now. Thanks. We have to cut out the notch for the upper part of the fan. Here we go. Then thread the wires through the hole and attach to the upper part of the fan. Spare no glue. We need to fix it better. Of course. It should not break even if it falls from the cliff. <gasps> I just had a thought. What's the energy source of our fan? Oh, good question. Oh, bring me the USB cable from the old charger. On my way. Sam, how much longer? Coming. 
Will this work? We wanted to use it somewhere, buffed it out, and left it. Awesome! That's exactly what we need! Take the buffed wires and put it through this hole. And now, it's soldering time! Guys! The soldering iron is a dangerous tool and you can easily get burned! Don't hesitate to ask an adult for help when soldering the wires! That's right, Sammy. You really have to be careful with it. By the way, try to solder the wires according to their color so you don't get confused. Now, let's glue the bottom to protect the whole construction. And we're at the finish line! Yay! Hooray! We did it! Phew! I'm gonna fetch my equipment! While Sam's looking for his stuff, let's test our fan. The valiant traveler was climbing the mountain. So, turn it on! Done! Despite the strong wind which almost blew, so something's wrong, this wind is too strong! So, ah! Sam? Sam, wake up! Are you frozen? Let's go play your game about the traveler. Uh, so I think I'm done for today. I'll go have some rest. Oh, come on! Why did we make the fan then?